T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, right now I'm reviewing Marvel Legends series Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Mantis Build-A-Figure Wave, Death's Head 2. And that's the last time I'm going to call him Death's Head. I'm going to use Ebonics and say Death's Head, because that's easier to say. Whoever came up with that name must have pronounced it the same way I'm pronouncing it, the same way a ton of people say it, Death's Head. Because don't, uh, you can't sit there and say Death's Head and, and think to yourself, oh, that's a great name. Death's Head. Ugh. Unless you just have a better non ebonically challenged tongue like I do. But anywho, this was a character, another figure just like Mr. Sunshine over there, the gold dude, Goldar, that I wasn't going to get. Only reason why I own it is because when Matt found this whole wave for me he just threw this guy in for free because he's nice thank you mr matt but here is his ugly messed up face when this guy was created predator and alien and whatnot were all popular so he has a basically a predator head it looks like a predator mask just all ripped up you can see that one humanoid looking eye and that eye right there. Basically from what I've read and watched. He has like Mega Man powers. When he kills somebody. He takes their abilities and whatnot. This gun arm is much like the Builder figure. From the last Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy Wave. Where it's one joint right there. Not double jointed. And the gun is on the right arm. Here's Titus right here. Or Titus. I'm going to guess it's Titus, but I thought they were the same body, but Titus is way bigger. I heard that this dude was going to be the Builder figure instead of Mantis, but they changed their mind at the last minute, and he is definitely have heavy and definitely Builder figure quality as far as paint and design. Now, some of the paint is messy. He has this shimmery light sil metallic silver blue paint splashed on his chest but then it's only like splashed in certain areas on the abs and it's like ugh, not completely nicely painted I don't like that he has that extra gold paint and the paint deco down here is a bit sloppy and my friend next to zero found one he was gonna buy for himself but um it was sloppy too mainly in the face but this face is all messed up anyway, so you wouldn't notice that to be, to be me. I mean, in my opinion. This I thought was going to get in the way of articulation as far as moving the legs, but it's actually a belt and it's movable. So it's not attached. I thought it was like glued or attached right there, but it's not. Sab crunches like that. Back crunch like that. Head can go forward. Head can look back. With these newer legends, the hair, they finally listened to a lot of people's complaints. They made the hair a lot more pliable in these newer figures. Arms go to the side like that. Bicep swivel. You saw the elbow already. Wrist goes in and out. Spreads that much. Waist swivel, even with this thing in the way. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. And he has boot cut. I love it, I love it. Ankle pivot feet can go forward that much go back that much so not that much forward but he is capable of getting into poses i like it just to make sure you get a good look at this gun arm there it is right there his arm oh yeah terminator was also popular back then so this gun arm is liquid metal and he can change it to any form he wants in this actual design right here i've seen this maybe they took it from this but I've seen this weapon on so many other like movie franchises and shows and, and video games and whatnot. A cannon like that with a spear at the bottom. He also comes with an interchangeable hand. I don't know what's up with this. Anything I've read, I haven't seen anything. Like, is that just so you can point at who's going to die next? Or... Oh yeah, he's supposed to be a good guy now. So... <laughs> I don't know. Is he saying, come on? Like, 
what what's up with that is this is booger picking finger i don't know but it's a cool figure just like with ex nilo if you're not familiar with him you probably will not care too much about him especially if you're a fan of guardians of the galaxy because of the marvel cinematic universe and I bet you a ton of people are fans of them because of that. And if they didn't watch the movies, they wouldn't know anything about Star-Lord or Gamora or anything. And, and that's me. So, I don't know. It is a good figure. It's weighty. It's probably worth the price point because of the size of him. He, he's pretty much, like I said, a builder figure. And let's do a size comparison. I don't know. Before I got Titus, he did feel like a big, humongous figure compared to the other guys. But as you can see, he's not quite build a figure status height wise and girth wise. But it's still a decently weighty, well articulated figure. And it's cool. Here is his package artwork right there. It almost looks like he's wearing jeans. I like the, the way the pants and clothes look on these, this artwork with him and Ex Nihilo way better than the actual toys. And there is the bio. If you like this video, let me know by liking the video. Let me know by subscribing. Let me know by sharing, commenting, all that good stuff. Until next time, T-Man 978 out of here.